Hello, guys. Hi. It's really Hi. nice to meet you today. It's lovely to meet you. Uh, first of all, tell me about your characters and uh, where are we going to find them at the beginning of this story? Nick is a, um, a very kind, sort of, actually slightly... Do you want to I think slightly that? introverted character mm. um, who has found himself in this very popular friendship group Mm -hmm. um, because he's quite popular, because he's, you know, the star player on the rugby team, and he's, um, you know, sort of very easygoing and, and quite nice to people. And handsome. Well, I'm not going to say that, but, um, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's sort of good to... He's nice to be around, so he gets uh, lots of sort of um, popular friends, which means he's kind of thrust into that friendship group, and he's at that point where he's like, I don't really fit in here, but... <laughs> Either way, I'll just sort of float about until he meets Charlie. Yeah. I think Charlie. Charlie's very smart, very introverted, quite... Shy. Shy. He overthinks every interaction he has with anyone, which I can definitely relate to. <laughs> um, but he's just he's really nice and lovely, and he... Before we meet him in season one, he goes through a lot of bullying because he's the only out gay kid in school, mm -hmm. which I think causes him a lot of um, hurt and then he meets Nick and yeah. It's very much a continuation of season one. Mm. So, you know, you find the two of them at this point where they've just, you know, they've just gone on, on sports day. Nick has just sort of stormed off the pitch and, um, and you know, grabbed Charlie's hand and, and walked and they uh, sort of, basically declared their undying feelings for one another. Yes. Um, and, yeah, I think they sort of, their, their relationships, like, you know, starts to blossom and they get more comfortable with each other. I think one thing that you can expect in season two is that Nick and Charlie, it's a lot less sort of, like, cute, shy, um, you know, sort of awkwardness it's to it. It's more oh. like, they're just more comfortable yeah. with each other. Yeah. Um, because in season one, they were just, you know, infatuated with one another, but they were also still very much, um, you know, nervous and, and, and sort of shy yeah. around each other. Uh, but yeah, in season two, there's much more just sort of, um, they're more comfortable with each other, they're, they're, you know, a bit more silly with each other, um, silly, goofy, quirky, all that good stuff. <laughs> uh, and yeah, they just, they just have a bit more fun, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, new generations really need new stories. So what do you think about be a part of this kind of movement and uh, tell this important story for these new kids are growing up and can feel related to you? Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? It's, I think it's going to be something I'm always the most proud of. Well, always the most proud of in my life with being a part of this. Especially proud. Story. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that it's a really sort of um, it's a real honour to be able to be a part of it and to be able to uh, have an impact on anyone's life is really, really cool. Do you receive, like, any uh, personal messages from people that tell you, hey, I was looking at your story and I love it, thank you for telling me that because I feel related or something like that, or, or maybe haters? What, yeah. can, what can you tell me about that? Yeah, we get all of the above, really. Everything, yeah. Um, I think we get, there is uh, an overwhelming amount of sort of um, positive responses to the show that we get personally, whether it be, you know, on Instagram, letters or, or someone stopping you in the street and, and, and telling you their story. Um, and it's always very, you know, really quite special yeah. to, to see the reaction. Loads of people love to, love have, to opinions. <laughs> have opinions on yeah. us. Um, yeah. We're either, you know, you can't really look at it in, in, in some cases because we're either the most beautiful people in the world or we are quite literally the most ugly, ugly most yeah, people. yeah, most yeah. terrible people in the world. So it's keeping us of, grounded. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you just have to take everything with a pinch of salt. And yeah. Peruvians, please watch the show. Peruvians, please. We would love you to watch the show. Good. <laughs> oh, okay. It.